My seniority is not high on this trip. Hey guys, and welcome to another one of my travel vlogs. Right now, I'm standing in a crew parking lot, which means I'm gonna go on a trip today. So technically, I won't be working until tomorrow because I'm only gonna be deadheading to Frankfurt today from here, from Munich. So that's gonna be like a 45 minute flight, like super quick leg. And then I think we have like a 22 hour lay over there. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be working the flight from Frankfurt to San Francisco. So originally when I bid on this trip, so yeah, this was my main bid, I didn't realize that I'd have to get up at like 2.45 a.m. in order to make this flight. I thought it was gonna be similar to the flight that we usually have from Munich where the flight departs in the afternoon, but I guess not. <laughs> the Frankfurt flight to San Francisco departs in the morning. So I was like, oh. <laughs> So our briefing time today is 7 a.m. I mean, usually I don't bid on trips that start this early just because it means I have to leave my house at like 3.30 a.m. However, it's totally fine. Like, I don't mind too much. And I'm really excited about San Francisco. I haven't been there in over a year. And I'm just so excited to like explore and spend some time down at the piers and stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. So we are taking our A350 to San Francisco and today I think for the deadhead flight it's probably gonna be like an A320 Neo or CU. I'm not completely sure one of those two. So I'm already checked in and everything and I'm really excited to get some sightseeing in, in Frankfurt as well because the weather is supposed to be good. So I still have about an hour before I actually have to show up. So I'm just gonna have some breakfast now and then let's go to Frankfurt. just got to the hotel in Frankfurt so it's currently 10 a.m. pickup tomorrow is at 8 a.m. which means I have 22 hours here so pickup is basically our van time which is when a bus comes here picks us up and drops us off at the airport so the flight was very smooth the crew was really nice like the on-duty crew and then my deadhead crew seems to be very nice as well I actually know one person from my crew so that's cool <laughs> She was in my emergency training class earlier this year. And for today, I don't have much plan. I'm probably gonna study for a bit. I'm really hungry. I know it's only 10 a.m., but I had breakfast at like 3 a.m. So, I mean, I had a granola bar back in a car in Munich, but that's, that's not really filling, you know? So if you've watched my channel for a while, you have probably seen this room a couple times. So I'm just gonna go over everything really quickly and show you guys what the room is like. Let's start with the view. So there's the road right down there. And then I've got two beds, small beds. There is a TV right here. You know why I like this hotel? They always have hot cocoa here. That's good. And then just my regular uniform. And then the bathroom. Just a standard size bathroom with shower head and a bathtub. I like to meal prep whenever I can and whenever I stay within Germany or at any of the destinations in the European Union it's possible so I can't really take anything to like the US or anything but I have my homemade pizza right here and I also brought some pasta salad for dinner so I guess I'm good for today and I'll probably just buy some yogurt or something for breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, let's actually put that in the fridge. I stir some complimentary water. It's study time right now.
You guys, I've been working on assignments for like five hours straight. So I'm done for today because you guys know I got up at 2.45 a.m. So I'm tired. Currently it is 5 p.m. So I think I'm just gonna go for a quick walk. So the weather is really nice outside. There are a couple of clouds coming in. I guess it's getting a little overcast, but that's all right. And I will stop by the supermarket to get some breakfast. So my wake up call is at 7 a.m. tomorrow, which means I should go to bed at like 10, 10 ish, I guess. So I have a couple of hours to just do whatever I want, which is nice. And I will talk to Mario on the phone soon whenever he gets back from work because he's still at work. He should get out in like a minute or so. So, but yeah, maybe I'll do that when I'm going for my walk. We'll see, but five hours of studying is enough. It wasn't really studying. It was just going over assignments and just filling in all those blanks um, and calculations just like there's so much nutrition stuff in this here. So has like all of those tables in there, like how many calories, how many nutrients there are in certain um, kinds of food. And that's what I was doing basically all day long. <laughs> I just got back from my walk and it was so relaxing to like walk right next to the river. I don't know, it's just like really calming to me if I have a busy day and then I just get to go for a little walk and be in nature and stuff. That's just me, I don't know, are you guys the same way? <laughs> and I also went to the store, so I got some yogurt. This is peach and mango flavored. I've definitely had this before. This is not sponsored or anything. I just grabbed the cheapest brand basically. <laughs> Then I also got some Frühlingsklack, which is basically like a bread spread or a dip. It's curd cheese with chives and I think there's parsley in it. And I bought this in order to dip these in it. So these are lentil chips and they are bell pepper flavored and they are one of my favorite lentil chips brands. So I have had all these things before in Germany, so I just got the same thing, but... I really wanted a treat that I can eat while I watch some TV tonight. So yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a nice night in. Let's go to San Francisco. We were taking our A350 today. I kind of want to work in economy class once again. Let's see if that's gonna happen because, well, my seniority is not high on this trip, so we'll see. But yeah, the flight time is probably gonna be around 11 hours, so it's quite a long flight and I'm really excited to get to San Francisco. We made it to San Francisco. I'm so happy that we arrived here and the weather is beautiful. By the way, my view is amazing. I have never had a view this good in this hotel. So our flight time today was 10 hours and 15 minutes, which was all right. And currently it is 2.30 p.m. local time, which means at home it is 11.30 p.m. So it's kind of late at home. <laughs> 
The crew is going to meet up downstairs in about half an hour. So I kind of have to hurry right now because I don't want to miss them. They said they wanted to go to this Mexican place and they said that they have like um, tortilla chips and that kind of stuff there. Maybe tacos and maybe they have like margaritas and stuff. I don't think I'm going to drink too much because I kind of want to sleep tonight and I'm not much of a drinker but still. Um, I have never been to that Mexican place before. Usually when I'm here, I go to In-N-Out Burger and sometimes the Cheesecake Factory, which is just around the corner. So we're staying close to Union Square, so the location is pretty good. So I guess I'm just going to show you my room right now. My hotel room is on the 18th floor. Like usually we had hotel rooms on like the 8th or maybe 10th floor in this building. So I'm really excited. So I have one bed in here. I think this is a king size bed. Then there's a coffee tea maker. There are some pictures. It looks kind of nice. I like that there's a sofa here. And then, now look at the view. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Now this is kind of cool. So it kind of looks like a closet here, but then you open it up and it's actually the bathroom. So kind of looks like French doors, doesn't it? So the bathroom is small, but nice. The shower is huge. Let's go meet the rest of the crew downstairs in the lobby. I just got back to my hotel room. So currently it's 8 p.m. This was such a fun evening and we got to sit outside at this Mexican restaurant which was really nice. The weather was actually good like right now it's kind of cold again but before we were sitting in the sun and it was just like it was really nice and warm. Actually my crew is amazing so sometimes the captain or the purser will actually take care of the bill. It does not happen that often but today I didn't even have to pay for anything so I didn't have to pay for the margarita I had. I only had one. Like some people had more than one but I only had one. I didn't want to drink more because otherwise I wouldn't be sleeping tonight. Like I I would be tossing and turning and I don't want to do that so I kind of want to have a nice day tomorrow so yeah that's just me and then we also had guacamole and chips and it was so good like the guacamole was just like it was fresh and really really tasty and the purser and the captain they took care of everything so we felt really bad like we wanted to pay at least part of the bill but they were like no no that's fine we're taking care of that and we we're like what? what oh my gosh it's so nice so anyways i'm back at the hotel i'm really tired like by now i have been up for almost 24 hours so yeah i'm tired so I'm probably gonna go to bed soon. I will probably be up at like 4 a.m. But that's all right. I wanna get some studying done tomorrow and then explore. So if I get up early, I'll be done early and then I have more time to explore. So everything's working out. Good morning, it's Saturday. So it's my second day here in San Francisco. A few of the girls from my crew and I were actually gonna try and rent some bikes and maybe we're gonna go to Sausalito or something. So we're really excited, or I'm excited at least, so I'm just gonna head down to the lobby and meet some of the others from the crew. And we're gonna see what we're gonna do today and where we wanna go exploring and I really want to go to In-N-Out, so that's definitely on the list. We're ready to go on a bike ride. So I got the kid's helmet because the adult one didn't fit. And here is the bike. Let's go. Look at how foggy it got. Like you can't even see the bridge anymore. It's supposedly right there in front of us, but apparently it's not. The 
bridge is actually visible, the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. It's right over there. It's really windy and it was very foggy. It's very windy here, so the Golden Gate Bridge is like right behind me right here. It's a little foggy and super windy. <laughs> Hey guys, I just got back from the bike tour, so it was such a nice day. I'm just like so tired right now. It's currently 8 p.m. So I was out for like 11 hours straight. One of my co-workers and I, we actually rented a bike. And first of all, we walked all the way down to basically like Fisherman's Wharf. That's where we rented the bikes. First of all, we saw the Golden Gate Bridge very clearly. And then once we got closer to the bridge, <laughs> It got really foggy and once we were on a bridge it started raining a little bit and it was super foggy and by the way you can see it a little bit like still I just got in from outside and I was walking a lot so I'm still a little flush but I definitely have a tiny bit of a sunburn here it's not too bad like I feel like it looks worse on camera than it is in real life but um well let's just put it like this I did put sunscreen on this morning and I had it with me but I didn't think that I would need to reapply it because I mean it wasn't really sunny and that's the tricky thing here so what happened was since we were going through that fog and it was very like misty there I think that actually um, washed my sunscreen off I don't think that I'll lose my skin it's probably gonna like just disappear in like a couple of days so like I said it looks worse on camera than it is in real life but we had such a great time so on the other side of the bridge well first of all we wanted to go to Sausalito but apparently the ferries aren't running at the moment I think they're just um, picking up service again starting on like the 15th but today is only the 12th so we were too early, but we didn't want to go all the way to Sausalito because the road down there, it's just, it's a little steep and like I wouldn't mind going down there, but then again, you would need to get back up and we weren't up for that. So we went on like a 20 mile bike ride and probably walked like, probably like 12 or 13 miles at least. I have to check. So we had such a nice day and then we stopped a couple of times on a way. There was an arts museum that looked really cool. Um, since we had our bikes, we didn't really go inside, but still we got burgers at in and out so I got a double-double and it was really good. And I just stopped by Target. I bought some whole wheat bagels and some cream cheese. So I'm gonna have a bagel tonight. And I bought some yogurt for tomorrow for breakfast. Apart from that, I didn't even go to like Fisherman's Wharf or Pier 39, like I was down there, but I didn't go there. I've been there so many times. So in case you do want to see that part of San Francisco, I will link another video where I probably went to both of these attractions. And by the way, we accidentally walked up Russian Hill. <laughs> so um, I've heard that Russian Hill is really steep and basically we were just trying to find the quickest way back to the hotel and We just did what Google Maps told us to and that was walk up Russian Hill 
And at one point, the other girl from the crew that was with me the whole time was like, how much longer do we have to climb that hill? And I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't know that we were gonna go up Russian Hill. Um, oh well. <laughs> We learned our lesson, but because of that, we got to see Lombard Street, and Lombard Street is really cool. Um, yeah, so that was basically it for today. We had such a great day, but like I told you guys, it was a very active day, so I'm kind of tired right now. So I'm just gonna have a bagel, then I'm probably gonna watch some Netflix, and then I'm just going to bed at like maybe like 9 or 10 p.m., so... Yeah, I am tired <laughs> and tomorrow is go home day, so I kind of have to sleep tonight. Good morning. I had a good night's sleep. I woke up at 5.30 this morning, which means I got seven and a half hours of sleep, which is pretty good considering that there is a nine hour time difference to Austria. So I think I was just wiped out last night because <laughs> I was just such a busy bee yesterday and we went so far with like the bikes and the walk was, I checked, it was like a 10 mile walk that we went on. So it was a pretty far walk as well. <laughs> but we had so much fun in San Francisco. All in all, I feel like San Francisco does give me a different vibe than it did before the whole pandemic started. So I don't, I don't know, it's just, it's so sad to walk down the streets and see so many homeless people. I feel like the situation got way worse ever since the pandemic started. The last time I was here was in December 2019, so that was like one and a half years ago. But I definitely feel like the situation um, did not improve at all. And it just, it seems like the crime rates have gone up. Like I've seen so many stories on the news and all, I've read articles and it just seems like the whole situation has gotten a lot worse. So. I was safe the whole time I was here. It just, it was a different vibe than I used to get when I was here before the pandemic. And I was here frequently. Like I've been here at least like 10 times. I've been here on vacation and all. It just, it seemed different. And I was like, there was a lot of like road work and stuff. So like the whole city seemed a little different. To me, it somehow didn't seem as happy as it used to before the pandemic, but that might be due to the fact that there were not a lot of tourists around, but that's a whole different story. Like in the morning, the whole area was really, really quiet. Apart from Chinatown, it was quite busy there because they had like all of those stands outside of their um, stores and it was super busy there. Apart from that, it was kind of empty and then in the afternoon it got a lot more busy in the streets. That are just my thoughts. If you live here, that's a whole different story. I can only report what I see with my own eyes and I'm a tourist so I could never get a grasp like someone who lives here in the Bay Area. Just, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that. I'm not trying to tell you guys that San Francisco's run down or anything. It's not like that but it feels different to me. So anyways, I'm just about to have some breakfast. I'm really excited. So I'll show you my breakfast setup. I'm having breakfast in bed and yes, I did put a towel on me but I would never set food just like on the bed or the duvet cover i always put a towel underneath so that nothing gets dirty or anything so this is breakfast in bed i have my favorite yogurt and i bought a bagel yesterday and it has cream cheese in it i'm making some chamomile tea right now they had these tea bags and the room look at all of that fog it wasn't like this yesterday so you can barely see the buildings back there. This layover has come to an end, so I'm just about to head down to the lobby to meet the rest of the crew in order to head back to Europe. So first of all, we're gonna go to Frankfurt and then we're going to Munich. We're dead heading to Munich and then I'm driving to Salzburg, so <laughs> it's gonna be quite a long day. I think the flight time is probably gonna be like nine and a half, maybe 10 hours, we'll see. <laughs> so I guess it's like a regular, Return flight from the west coast. I'm working the three left position today, which means I'm serving beverages in premium economy and economy class. So yeah, I got the position I wanted. <laughs> I kind of like working at door three. I don't know, it's just like the teamwork in my opinion is better in economy class because in business class you have your own compartment. Let's say your own service area, while in economy class you kind of work together with everyone else. So that's probably why I like economy class so much because I get this question a lot. <laughs> 
Anyways, I kind of have to hurry right now because it's already almost time to be downstairs. I'll let you guys know how it goes once I am in either Frankfurt or Munich or Salzburg. We'll see. We're ready for boarding. Good morning, it's Tuesday already, which means it's the next day and I made it home safe and sound yesterday. So the flight back was like a 10 hour flight, so the flight time was quite okay for that distance. And it was a fun flight. The crew was amazing, we had really, really nice passengers. The flight was pretty full, so we were not working this flight with minimum crew. Minimum crew means that there are only six flight attendants and two pursers on a plane. So that's what we used to do in the past few months whenever the flights weren't like really full. But since this flight was so full, we actually had an extra flight attendant. So we were still less flight attendants than we were before the whole pandemic, but that's just due to the fact that the whole service concept is still a little different from what it was before the pandemic. So there was lots of stuff and lots of work to do on board because like, um, I feel like people are finally in that stage where they want to travel again and all that and people just expect like the usual from our flights and that's totally fine it's just it's unusual because it hasn't been like this in the past year so i feel like we flight attendants have to get used to that once again as well and there are some adjustments still to like service and all of that and people still need to wear masks even if they're fully vaccinated and all of that and i did have to remind a few passengers that they had to wear their face mask even once they're seated at their seat but we didn't have any major problems with that or anything but yeah it was a really good flight and in frankfurt we had two hours to make it to our next plane so we basically just went to the Frankfurt base and then went to the airport and then went through security there and made it on a plane and everything went fine. We made it to Munich safe and sound and then I drove all the way back. So the first flight from San Francisco to Frankfurt was a little bumpy. That was due to the fact that there was quite a bit of weather on the way, like strong winds and stuff. And then also like we used jet streams so jet streams are like super fast winds and if you cross them in like a 90 degree angle it's gonna get bumpy <laughs> trust me i've had that in the past i've had that yesterday it will get bumpy so but that's all right like it wasn't like seriously concerning turbulence or anything it was just a little bumpy which made it kind of hard to sleep during my break but that's about it but yeah i didn't get to film on a plane yesterday because i was just working the whole time and then during my break i actually went to the crew rest like on a flight to san francisco i sat in the cabin for a little bit and then i went up to the crew rest but like yesterday it was just like i was wiped out so <laughs> i just had to go to sleep that was more important than filming obviously and I'm really excited because today is a big day. I have told you guys that I've been waiting for my vaccination appointment forever. So I've been signed up since February, I think. February was when our vaccination sign up tool basically started up. But yeah, I've been signed up for forever and like the vaccine doses and stuff are still very limited over here in Europe, generally speaking, not just in Austria. And I feel like they're finally getting more vaccine doses and I finally got an appointment so I'm really excited. I'll go there later today and yeah. So I still have to fill in all of like the paperwork and stuff. I don't know if you have to do that in every country but we have to fill in some stuff, sign some stuff over here in order to get the vaccine. So I'm excited 
And apart from that, there's really not that much going on right now. Like I'm off for four days. That's standard after a San Francisco trip. And I'm actually gonna be on call on Friday. So like they can't use me until Saturday, but they might call me on Friday and give me a trip for the weekend. So I'm really excited. I feel like they might give me a short haul trip. I don't know yet. I mean, I already worked two trips this month. So I feel like, yeah. Maybe some other people will get lucky and get a trip. But yeah, like I didn't see anything open in our system so far. So we'll have to wait and see. Maybe I'll get called, we'll see. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you click on that red button on there in order to support me and my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely week. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy. I hope you have a lovely summer. Like the weather is amazing here right now. I think we're gonna get like 90 degrees today in Fahrenheit, which is over 30 degrees centigrade, which is amazing. So thank you so much everyone for just watching my video and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.